Remember the original Honda Pilot from 2003? Even though the company was just a little bit late to the family SUV game, that car became an almost instant sales success. And pretty soon it was just as commonplace around Pee Wee soccer fields as the orange slices and juice boxes. Well, two decades later, there's a new pilot in town, and it's arguably the most significant vehicle that Honda will produce this year, not just because of its popularity, but because it pushes boundaries like no Honda-built SUV has before, off the pavement and into the dirt with this all-new Trail Sport trim level. But I'm getting ahead of myself. For more on the new pilot, please be sure to subscribe to the Motor One YouTube channel and find us on all of your favorite social media using the handle at MotorOne.com. And you can find our full story of the debut at the link in the description. Now, before we get into what makes the Trail Sport special, let's just establish a 23 pilot baseline. As you can see, the grille is definitely much more upright and it's trimmed in gloss black on this vehicle because it's a Trail Sport. However, if you opt for one of the other trims, you might get chrome if that's more your style. Now, if you wanna stump your friends at Trivia, you can tell them that this is actually the largest hood that Honda has ever put on a passenger vehicle. And it flows into a more upright greenhouse that helps give this thing some more traditional SUV proportions. Now, my favorite styling feature on this car is the C-pillar, which as you can see is reliefed up just a little bit to give it some resemblance to the second generation Honda Pilot. This is kind of a cool blend of new and old, striking that perfect balance between aerodynamics and SUV styling. The Trail Sport gets 18-inch wheels with all-terrain tires with a nice chunky sidewall. Now, this is actually the first time that Honda has put all-terrain tires on an SUV, which befits the Trail Sport's mission. The 18-inch wheels have also been pretty cleverly designed so that the spokes themselves are kind of sunken back on the wheel just a little bit, protecting them from rock damage, and there's a little Trail Sport logo on the rim of the wheel itself. If you're not really into the rugged look, you can also get 20-inch wheels on some trims of the Pilot, including the Elite. Those look a little bit more urbane and stylish, and they're not quite as tough looking, so if that's your thing, go for it. The Elite also gets some more bright work around the windows and down low on the doors, and it gets body-colored door handles instead of the Trail Sport's gloss black door handles. The 23 Pilot also gets a unique design in the rear with these taillights that don't share their design with anything else in the Honda lineup. They're connected by this gloss black panel in the middle that hides Pilot badging in the same color as the underlying surface. And they've done that because they want the Pilot badge not really to stand out, but instead to reveal itself the closer you get to the car. It's kind of a subtle touch, and I'm not sure it totally works, especially on cars with the chrome badges. I might prefer it all to match, but at the same time, this is kind of a unique choice. There are some special styling details on the Trail Sport, including this orange accented badge and a standard trailer hitch that includes tow points that are rated to twice this vehicle's gross weight rating. Additionally, all all-wheel drive versions of the Honda Pilot are rated to tow up to 5,000 pounds, which is just about enough for a little toy hauler or a tent trailer. Now I do want to point out just a few things about the inside of the 23 Pilot. As you can see, this is a totally new design and it looks a little bit more architectural and structured than before, which is totally appropriate for this vehicle's mission. Also, something interesting to note is that this is the first new Honda in a very long time that doesn't have that full width mesh panel. And that could be for a couple of reasons. One, this is a slightly more rugged vehicle so maybe a slightly more rugged design befits it better. But much more importantly, not having that mesh makes space for this open storage unit right in front of the passenger, which is perfect for a wallet or a cell phone or a pair of sunglasses or anything else you don't want cluttering your pockets. Every pilot except the base sport model comes with a nine inch infotainment display with wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. If you do go for the sport model, you're gonna be stuck with a seven inch display that requires a wired connection for smartphone mirroring. However, it all runs the same sleek Honda infotainment system that's very easy to use and get accustomed to. Most Honda Pilots come with a half digital instrument cluster that includes a seven inch screen for the tachometer and the driver information center. However, if you go for the flagship Elite, you're gonna get a fully digital experience if you really can't go without seeing pixels for a few seconds. Since I'm in the Trail Sport, I'm gonna point out a few things to you. As you can see, there's orange stitching everywhere, including the center console, the steering wheel, the dashboard, the door armrests, and even embroidered on the headrests. Now, it's important to note that the Trail Sport doesn't actually get real leather seats. This is a synthetic leatherette, which is probably a good thing if you're into going outside and getting dirty every single weekend. If you do want leather, you can get it on the EXL, the Touring, and the Elite models. Speaking of the Touring and the Elite, one of their coolest features is a standard three across bench with a center section that actually removes or folds down. That means you can set it up for eight passenger seating, a fold down full width armrest console, or a pass through. Best of all, the seat actually stows in the trunk when not in use, which means you can put it in or pull it out as needed, even if you're on the road. When the seat isn't back there, there's tons of underfloor storage, and you can even put the cargo floor down at the bottom to give yourself plenty of vertical space. Every 23 Pilot comes standard with an all new 3.5 liter engine that Honda says is its most powerful V6 in history. 
Don't get too excited though, because it's 285 horsepower and 262 pound-feet are still middling numbers in a class that also includes the Hemi-powered Jeep Grand Cherokee L and the torquey turbocharged Ford Explorer. Even so, Honda has taken some steps to reduce the mechanical complexity and increase the efficiency of this engine, including a new head design and slightly revised variable cylinder management. Most trim levels of the 23 Pilot come standard with front-wheel drive, although you can option up to the company's IVTM4 second-generation torque vectoring all-wheel drive system. You don't have to tick that box if you go for the Trail Sport or the Elite, however, because it just comes standard. And on the Trail Sport, that rear differential has been slightly redesigned for more engaging off-road behavior. For example, if you're traversing a bunch of obstacles and you drop a wheel in a rut and it loses contact with the ground, the system will send 75% of the torque to the wheel that has grip with the remaining 25% going to the wheel that doesn't. Now that seems a little bit counterintuitive. Why do you want a wheel that's just hanging in the air to be spinning like that? The reason is simple. Once you do regain contact with the ground after you've crossed your obstacle, you don't want that wheel to have to play catch up. You want it to just hit the ground running, so to speak. Every Honda Pilot comes with a four wheel independent suspension, although the Trail Sport itself gets a unique spring and strut package that gives it an extra inch of lift over its relatives. There's also a unique sway bar set that gives it more articulation and greater off-road comfort. The Trail Sport does lack a dedicated low range, which means it probably isn't going to turn into a Wrangler rivaling rock buggy anytime soon. However, Honda does say that this is the most capable SUV that they've ever produced. And since the old Pilot was surprisingly fun to hoon through the dirt, I'm very excited to put a Trail Sport through its paces. Whenever Honda redesigns its bread and butter automobiles, we've come to expect the usual improvements, a refined interior perhaps, or some additional family-friendly features. And the 23 Pilot absolutely delivers on both of those fronts. The cabin is beautiful, and there's stuff like that removable center rear seat section that should make it easier to live with on a daily basis. However, I was not expecting the company to add some genuine mechanical improvements to this trail sport trim. And while it's not gonna be a Bronco or a Wrangler rival, it still looks like it'd be a hell of a lot of fun to take on a long camping trip through BLM land. The 23 Honda Pilot hits dealers this December, and although the company hasn't released pricing yet, it's fair to expect it to start at right around 35 grand for the base front drive sport model, cresting all the way to 50 or $55,000 for the top spec all-wheel drive Elite. We should know more specifics soon, so please stay tuned, and as always, thanks for watching.